What's up, Steeler Nation? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking the time to spend a little time with me. I always appreciate that. And let's get right to it, man. Quick update here in regards to the Pittsburgh Steelers and a roster position that we all know about. We all talked about last season. Some of us criticized. Some of us understood. But now it's here. For you guys that don't know, the Pittsburgh Steelers have declined the fifth-year option for Devin Bush. Some of us saw that coming. Some of us were unsure. But now we have the answer. No, Devin Bush will not be playing with a fifth-year option this season. So what does that mean for him? Well, it means he's in a contract year. The same way we saw it happen with Terrell Edmonds. Terrell Edmonds, to me, played a solid season you know a solid Steelers season meaning he fit in our you know he fit in our defense and I think Terrell Edmonds had improved up until last season but he went out there tested the market it wasn't what he thought and now he's back with the Pittsburgh Steelers at a very low cost Devin Bush could find himself in the same situation he has an opportunity here to earn some money in the offseason whether that be with the Steelers or with another team but it's going to be up to him so the Pittsburgh Steelers are basically putting him in a situation where he has to prove it. Now, just like I said last season with Devin Bush, man, I think there was more going on with his game than what most people would give him credit for. The psychological piece, I'm sure, played a huge part. Coming off of a tremendous injury that he had in the ACL, you know, early in his second season. So he pretty much missed his entire second season, if you really want to say that. He only played a couple games, right? And then he's coming back off of that. And he just wasn't quite the same. And I think a lot of it was mental. I don't think he trusted his knee for the most part. And I don't think he trusted his instincts. Because again, when you've been away from the game so long, your instincts are not quite the same. You know, you can't rely on what you once were able to rely on. He relied on his instincts, his quickness, his capabilities, yada, yada, yada. But when the injury comes into play, you're not so confident with your abilities anymore, which is going to affect your decision making, which is going to affect your instincts. And, you know, you're just go, <laughs> you know, it's going to make you think a little more and try to protect your knee and things of that nature. Now, if you guys just saw the recent video that was posted maybe a week or two ago of Devin Bush working out and you saw how fast his footwork was and he was testing his lateral movement and all of that, in my opinion, I think you know, it's you got to go all out this season. If you're able to move like that, then all of the excuses go out of the window because now you should fully trust that knee and you should be able to play the way you once played in this season, especially having that given pressure of being in the contract season. So I'm actually looking forward, man, to seeing if Devin Bush can bounce back. I think the kid still has talent. Again, if you go back and look at his rookie year and what we thought he was looking like and improving throughout that season, you go back and look at how he was playing in the early part of his second season before the injury, and then if you even look at how he improved last season, remember I kept saying, I was the one that kept saying, listen, man, in the last four games that Devin Bush was playing in, he started to look a lot better. Remember, I was getting on him early in the season, but then as we got further into the season and, and probably around the last four or five games, you heard me continue to say each week, hey, man, I think Devin Bush is playing a bit, a bit better now. So I expect him to build off of that and come into the season hitting the ground running, especially having a guy like Miles Jack there that you can learn from and build with. You know, you guys should be able to fly all over that defense. Right. So he's got some pressure on him now, especially now, you know, you have new guys that might be in the fold. You got Gennard Avery, which I know he can play inside or out. You got the kid that they drafted later in, in, in the draft. Uh, what's his name? Mark Robinson from Ole Miss. I've watched him a little bit. I got more to watch on him, but he shows some pop. <laughs> you know, he shows some will to at least. Who knows what Buddy Johnson could or, or, you know, what he will or won't be. But I'm saying the pressure is on now, especially with the Steelers signing Miles Jack. Because clearly Miles Jack is going to be the alpha, it seems, right? Because the Steelers did that. Maybe not. Maybe he was just a replacement for Schobert. But you understand what I'm saying. Miles Jack coming into this season, most of us would think 
he's gonna be the dude more so than Bush. Bush now has to earn that dude <laughs> moniker back. So that's already pressure, you know, but those two guys playing together, I think could be a real good thing if Devin Bush can just get back to being the dog that he was, right? And have that hunger, have that chip on his shoulder with not getting the fifth year option. And this could be a great thing for this year's defense. And again, if he goes berserk and he demands money, then it's still his attempt to pay him or they franchise tag him or what have you. But I just think it's exciting right now to see what this might do to Devin Bush. For those of us who still think he got some in the tank, we're going to see this season. Again, you showed us yourself, Mr. Bush, in that video. You shouldn't have any fear about the knee anymore. So now it's about this, mentally, where are you going to be on the field? So we're going to see. We're going to see. But anyway, guys, just wanted to do a quick update. You guys know I like to give you guys that quick update information for those of you that may or may not have seen it. You know, just another place here for you guys to discuss it in the comments. And we can chat it up and we'll talk about it tomorrow as well, briefly, on Turbo Tile Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. But outside of that, guys, again, I'm going to always remind you, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel or hit the like button, then subscribe to the channel and then cut on your notifications. All right, guys, until next time, let me know what you think. Peace.